Hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, Lord, y'all. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. I am still. Hey. <laughs> this girl. I'm still trying to. It won't. Can't scoot that over. But it'll be that. Oh, I'm sorry. You're alive right now. Yes. <laughs> hey, can y'all hear me? I hope so. Two two girls behind me. Hey, Samantha. Can y'all hear me? I hope you can. Hey, Dana. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Y'all see my daughters behind me? They're being silly. And I'm trying to figure out this camera situation, but it is not doing, <laughs> not doing the right thing. These are my daughters. I don't know if y'all can see them. Peter won't come on, but they will. Hey, Tiffany Gale. Okay. They being so silly. Hey, from Australia. They being super silly. I'm gonna have to move this over here and then just figure it out. I don't know why it's doing this because it was working fine the other day when I set it up differently, but today it won't. Let me see if I choose this. Y'all can see me and y'all can see me and hear me fine. Hey, okay. So let me pull up my goals and I am going to say hello. I am going to say hello. And you know what? I went back and watched the live from Saturday where I did the, uh, when I announced the winners and oh my goodness, I missed so many comments. Y'all please, please know if I miss your comment, it is not intentional. It is, it breaks my heart when I go back and watch it back. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I missed comments. So if I'm, if you say something to me, if you ask me a question, if you say hello, or if you laugh with me, please know that it is not in my heart to ignore you because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying my best to get better at <laughs> responding to comments, saying hello to people, but I just, I missed some Saturday and I felt so bad about it. So please forgive me and know that it just charges to my head. Just say, Lord, she's old. Or you could say, you know, she just can't see or whatever, but it's not in my heart to do that. So in today's tutorial, we are learning how to use the knockout method to make a Mother's Day shirt. So that is the goal for this tutorial. And I'm going to go through it with you step by step. Um, this is the shirt that I made for my mom. But I have to make one for myself. So um, mine, I know you can't really tell, but this white, this white on here is glitter. I know it's hard to see that, but the red is the holographic vinyl from 143. So this is what we're doing tonight. I'm making mine just like it. And um, I'm going to take you through all the steps and hopefully you have your stuff. And even if you don't have this exact same vinyl, um, you can make one with whatever two colors of vinyl you want. Let me move this light or how I want to, let me uh, mute y'all for one second while I have this girl move this light. And I always just refer to my girls as girl and whoever comes, that's what I'm talking to. So hold on for one second. Perfect. Okay, so now let me scroll to the top and say hello to everybody. Um, when you came in, if you did not hit the like button, please just click out, hit the like button and come on back in. I would appreciate that. Because um, I see we have 77 viewing. I can't tell how many likes I have, but um, I want to make sure y'all help me out with that. 
Okay, so I'm getting ready to say hi to everybody. I've gone through the goals. So, hey, Tamika. Hi, Linda. Linda, I hope it is fun. I hope we don't have any issues. It's raining here in Houston. Hi, Yolanda. I'm glad you got it figured out with that font. I'm glad the other font worked out for you. Um, hey, Shamika. Hey, Mary. Hey, Rhonda. Oh, Rinda. Rinda from North Carolina. Hi, Rinda. Um, hi, Leona. Good afternoon. Thank you for all of your help. On us. Oh, thank you, Leona. I'm glad it's working out. Hey, Louise. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Miss JJ. Today was, it was a pretty good day. I had a very long parent conference that was longer than I thought it would be, but it was still okay. Hi, angels. I think I can. You are very welcome. Glad it worked out. Hey, Dana G. Y'all, Dana is one of the moderators in the Facebook group, and I'm glad she's joining. Samantha and I graduated from the same high school, so uh, former bull, once a bull, always a bull. Hey, Deborah, um, Louise, Miss JJ. Okay, y'all can hear me. That was hey, Miss TJ. Hey, Mona. Thank you. They they are they something else. Promise Friday, y'all. So cross your fingers for me because I have two girls going to prom on Friday. Um, you can hear me. Hey, Daisy. Tiffany Gale, we work together. That's Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Hey, Tracy. I'll tell a girl to say hi. Hi, Catherine from Australia. Okay. Hi, Rosetta. I'm doing better, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. Hey, Paula D. Hey, Tammy. Tammy won. Tammy was one of the winners of the giveaway. Tammy won $25. Hey, Lenny. Welcome aboard and thank you. Hi, Iris. Welcome, welcome aboard. Hopefully everything goes well and we don't have any snafus. Hey, Roberta. Hi, Myrna. Uh, I'm doing fine, Leona. Hey, Doreen. Hey, hey, yay. Thank you guys so much. Hey, Sharon. Enjoy before you have emptiness. I'm already sad about it, Dana. I'm already sad. Every time I think about the fact that this time next year we'll be here by ourselves, I get sad about it. Thank you, Iris. Thank you so much. Hey, Michelle. Michelle was another one of the winners of the Instagram giveaway. Hey, D. Hey, Regina. Hey, Chandra. I'm trying to say hi to everybody. That's Miss Victoria. My net. T. Thompson. Hey, Iris. When I'm, Iris, it is so random. I don't really have a scheduled day that I go on. I kind of um, to be honest, let me tell you this. So at my job, um, my um, my partner and I take turns having a week uh, late, like a late week for late pickups. Like, like if there are children who are late being picked up, she stays one week and then the other, next week is my turn. And so I kind of really do this when it's not my week to stay late. So I can come home, take a nap, get myself together before I start crafting. So this is not my week to stay late. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I came on. Hey, Beverly. Okay. So ready. Hey, JJ. New Jersey, New Jersey. Hey, Lisa B. Hey, Charlene. Now you start another shirt and still trying to do the blood shirt. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> you can do it. There are a lot of people in the Facebook group who have done that blessed shirt. And if you are in that group and you get stuck, somebody will help you. I promise you. Hey, Charlene. Hi, Diane. First time being able to catch you live. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff, Stacy, Gaither. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hopefully I am um, inspiring you to take your machine out of the box. If I can do that, then I'm winning. KMD, hello. Hey, Diane. Hey, Sonia, if you are catching this on the replay, I am saying hello to everyone. So please just bear with me. Um, Colleen from San Jose. Hey, Andrea. Brenda. Brenda is another one of the moderators in the Facebook group. Hey, Pat. Uh, okay. EJ's Designs Reb, uh, from the Caribbean, St. Lucia. Okay. I'm jealous. I want to see it. I want to see what it's like there. Hey, Patricia. Lakeisha. Lakeisha was another one of the Instagram winners. Sharon from Georgia. 
I have a lot of family there. Your son has your son has prom on Friday too. You ready? It might be different for girls and boys, Tammy. Because everybody is getting dressed over here at my house. So it's gonna be about 30 people in my house Friday, I'm thinking. Hey, Jill. I don't know. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm anxious. I'm feeling everything. Hey, Doreen from Maryland. Thank you, D. Hey, Precious from Chicago. Sherry. And you know what, Sherry? Sherry is another one of the moderators in the Facebook group. I realized I didn't even say hello to you Saturday and I owe you an apology. So please forgive me, Sherry. Tangela. Thank you, Precious. Hey, Diane from Fresno. Never been to Fresno. Trini girl. Uh-oh, Trina, I'm not sure why. Tangela in Florida. I have a lot of family in Florida. Melissa, Sugar and Spice, I like that name. Tiny's Teas and Things, hey. Victoria, you didn't get it either. I don't know why. YouTube was trying to play with my emotions. Hey, Linda. Patty, Laney, look at Laney. You better be on here, Laney. If anyone needs me any help, I'm presenting PM. She will, that is true. That is very true. Hey, Eve. Will we get to see prom pictures? I will I will share a few. <laughs> I was excited, Sherry. I was so excited. Am I frozen? Am I frozen? Am I frozen? Am I frozen? Hope I'm not frozen. I hope I'm not frozen. Hey, Andrea from Ohio. Okay, so this is what we're doing. Um, now, I said in my last, um, I don't know if I said it not frozen okay um i said it to someone that i needed to order more of that um holographic vinyl i'll share some i'll share last time i shared some just in messenger with people who just wanted to know because i didn't want to over overwhelm the facebook group with the hey Nat natalie was the one who won the cricket explorer 3 bundle from creative fabrica natalie we want to see it when you get it we want to see it <laughs> Oh, was it your location that I shared them with? Check on connection. I was like, yeah, it's on your side. Um, I had to order some more of that holographic. And my order just came in from 143 today. So I said I would open it right here while we're on. Um, and you know what? My order came up to over, over $100. Am I freezing? Am I freezing up? You can't wait till you receive it, Natalie. I know. That's exciting. That is exciting. Y'all congratulate Natalie if you didn't have a chance to. She won a Cricut Explorer 3 bundle from Creative Fabrica, which is amazing. Um, this is a lot of paper. I ordered some of these sublimation markers from 143 because I just said I want to try them and see if, how different they are than the ones from um, the Cricut brand. Has anybody tried these? Has anybody tried these um, Caesar sublimation markers? I feel like I'm going to mess up the package. I was happy that somebody won that's in the Facebook group because then I'd be like, show us what you got. Oh, these are, they look, they're little. Okay. But it comes with um, five colors. If you haven't tried your Cricut ones either. Yeah, I saw these on 143 Vinyl's website and I just said, let me try them because they, you know, I'm, I'm always trying something, every all the new stuff. But I'm assuming you do it just like you'd use um, the Cricut infusible ink markers. I'm assuming they're the same. And y'all, I don't remember what I ordered. I know I ordered some of that holographic vinyl. Though. doing better but let me tell you why i order more 
I ordered more because okay, so this is the um what is this? I gotta see what this is. Let me tell you why I ordered more, Christiana, because I know I needed some of the holographic. <laughs> hey fabulosis. I ordered more because I wanted to have an order that was um $50 or more so I can get free shipping. And I also wanted to have a pin pin, another pin pin, even though I don't need another one. I just wanted another one. Um, I think they were, I have to look at the thing again, Lainey. I mean, Yolanda, because I do have a discount code with 143. So I, I, I use my discount code on my stuff too. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to look, I, I'm going to get a discount on my stuff. Oh, I'm excited about this. This is that, um, I forgot what I ordered. I forgot what I ordered. This is the strip flock. It's thick. It's that strip flock pro. I don't know if you can tell how thick that is, but it's like super thick. And I said I was going to try to use this on some, um, some hats. So I ordered these sheets are 12 by 15. So I ordered black, blue, red, and orange. That's what this is. <laughs> Christiana, it just don't make and I bought this. This is 12 by 20 holographic rainbow pearl. Isn't that pretty? Look at that. That's so pretty. And then I bought, um, I think this is, is the purple, 12 by 20 holographic. I know, I, I got to see what I'm going to make with this. I bought three of these. And then I bought more of the holographic sheets. So I'm going to use this tonight. This. I'm going to use this tonight on that shirt. And then I bought some of that puff vinyl. I don't know what this one is. Let me see what this is. Glossy laminate. I don't know what I bought. Garden flag. I bought a garden flag. I bought another garden flag because those garden flags are nice. And they're cheap. The garden flag was, how much was the garden flag? Oh, $6.99. But I know I didn't pay $6.99. <laughs> Can you layer on top of holographic? No, that has to be the top. I ordered a purple. Look how pretty that is. I ordered a purple pen pen weeding tool. It's called lavender because I didn't have this color. I got all of this from 143 Vinyl. My link is below if you're going to be buying from them. And I do have a discount code. It's Delanda5. That's my discount code. I ordered some UV laminate um, for inkjet printable vinyl. So if I want to make stickers, I ordered some of that because I haven't tried that kind. I ordered three garden flags because my girls are going to be graduating and I'm going to make my own flags. And these flags are good quality because they're double-sided. And then just the markers. I don't see the... um. Unless this is it. I don't think it is. But I guess it, this might be the puff. I think this might be the puff vinyl. No, Sherry. I think I only have, I have the purple. I have the green. I have red. And I have blue. I don't know how many colors there are. <laughs> I have red. And I have, and I don't need any more. I know I don't. I know I don't. But I have this one. The blue and silver, I have the red one, I have a green one, and I have a, um, y'all don't be like me, be better than me, and I have the purple one. Don't, don't do, don't do this, don't do this, this is, this is not, this is not good. <laughs> what are the flag measurements? Let me see. Um, I would have to go back and look at the website because it's not on here. It just says double-sided polyester. 
But if I hold it up, let me see. I think it's 11 by... You love the pen pen. Hey, Patrice! Um, I'm not sure. Let me get my... Let me get my ruler. Hold on. It is... 11 and a half inches wide. By right at 18, 11 and a half by 18. <laughs> hey, Holly, do not do it. Do not do it. I'm telling you, I only bought this because I knew I wanted to spend over $50 to get free shopping, free shipping. And I knew I wanted to have another pin pin, which I did not need. You see, I didn't need it. I did not need it. Yes, you can use the infusible ink on, on the flags. Absolutely. That, and that's a great idea. I might do that on one because now I have four of these. But I did not need it. I didn't. I didn't. Well, I needed one, but I didn't need four. So this is one of my materials. Is the red holographic. I'm not using glitter for the white. I'm not going to use the glitter for the white. I'm going to have to wrap that up. All right. You keep getting their emails or discounts. I have to keep turning my head. <laughs> Natalie, once you get that, um, once you get that cricket, Explore three, you won't be turning your head. <laughs> I know. Do they dry up fast? What's the question? Do they dry up fast or last a while? Do they drop? Does what dry up fast? Iris. I know. I'm going to have to do a tutorial on them. And can you do the site and your discount code? Yes, uh, it, it should be linked below this video. It really should already be there. Let me um, look. I try to make sure that everything that I use is linked below the video. So this exact vinyl is linked below the video. The only thing that would not be down there is the shirts. Um, that's the only thing that you won't see below the video is those shirts. Okay, so um, the the clamshell heat press is there. The pin pin is there. The Caesar um, holographic vinyl is linked there, and my code is there. So all of my codes for one four three vinyl are there, in addition to my code to save five percent. Okay, so now I'm on this. I can see that there are eighty two likes and one hundred and twenty two viewing. So y'all work on that all right do I have to you have to show us the flags did i get anybody did i get everybody okay it's the five percent discount yes it's my name it's just delanda and then a five after it and that's how you'll know it's working all right y'all ready to get started so we're using holographic vinyl in red and i'm using regular caesar in white i'm not using glitter vinyl tonight because i feel like you couldn't tell anyway like on this shirt you can't really tell that it's glitter vinyl i don't know could y'all tell think i should stick with glitter or just yes laney just like that or should i just do i'm thinking i'm just doing regular white what do y'all think so I'm, I'm thinking i'm just using regular white you're gonna need i'm using a black gildan shirt I purchased this shirt from Hobby Lobby. It's up close so you can see it. Yeah. Um, this is just a regular heavy cotton shirt. You can get these from Hobby Lobby. You can get them from Walmart. You can get them from Michaels. I think somebody said Michaels has shirts on sale for $2. I don't know if it's black or just the other colors, but you can check that out. But I'm typically... I typically buy my shirts from Hobby Lobby because I don't buy in bulk and I don't do sales. So if I'm buying three shirts, that's for me, that's a lot because I don't really 
do sales like that. Now, if I was into sales, I might order from Jiffy shirts. I heard they, you know, they, they have reasonable prices and they ship out fast, but I don't have a reason to be buying 10 or 12 shirts at a time. So, okay. So I'm using a black heavy cotton shirt. I'm using my green standard grip mat. I'm using my uh, Cricut Explore Air 2. And I'm going to be using the StarCraft clamshell heat press, my 15 by 15. So mom one side says, mom, my brother's name. Is oh, that's nice, Holly. I bet that's cute. Okay. So, yes, I'm going to be using a regular vinyl. All right. And if there are not any other questions, we will get started. Now, I did upload. Let me pull this out so y'all can see this. I did upload this document to my Facebook page. Um, this right here from Caesar. Hopefully y'all can see that. Caesar has a uh, HTV application instruction. So for all of the vinyl options they have, it tells you how to press it, what's the temperature, if it's hot or cold peel, it tells you how to wash it, when to wash it. It gives you all of the instructions. So I keep this close to my heat press. What it does say, if you're not using a StarCraft clamshell heat press, because everybody doesn't have this exact heat press, a lot of people have the Cricut 9x9 Easy Press or the uh, 12x10 Easy Press. If you're using an Easy Press instead of a bigger heat press, it says to add 30 degrees on it. So I have mine set for 305 degrees because I'm using the holographic. No, I'm using, I'm going to have mine set to 320 degrees. But if you're using a, an easy press, it says to add 30 degrees. Okay. I think Perlis and Sheen White would be gorgeous with that red holographic. Using Caesar, Mike only have the Gildan's brand on shirt. Three for 10. Okay. That's a, that's probably how much I pay for these two, Michelle, like $3. And $3 to me is, is reasonable. And I, the reason why I like Caesar is because for most of their vinyl is hot or cold peel, except this holographic, this is a cold peel. So I'm gonna have to let this cool down before I peel it. Okay, so we're going into Cricut Design Space now. Y'all feeling that? Y'all feeling good? Hold on, because Cricut, I heard Cricut Design Space was acting real ignorant today, but <laughs> we're gonna see if it will cooperate. We will see if it's going to cooperate. Okay, let me hide that and let me go back and change my settings. How about that? And I wish I could. Yeah, y'all can see that. Okay, the Caesars easy to read. I made the Kia shirts, not only H degrees. Perfect. Good to have. Okay, y'all ready? Let me close that out. Okay, I'm going into Cricut Design Space. So what I suggest doing is using, and I'll, this says Explore 3. I'm going to be connected to my Cricut Explore. I just have the Cricut Explore 2. I don't have the same one that um, Natalie Robbins won. <laughs> okay, it took about two hours. Really? Hey, Jesse. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Louise. Okay. So the first thing I suggest you do is go into um, tech, grab your text. And the text that I like to use is Times New Roman for mom or mommy. Um, now my kids call me mommy and we still call my mom mommy. But you, you know, if you call your kids call you mama or mom or ma or whatever, use the word that they call you or use the word that you refer to your mother as. Now I'm using mommy because that's what they refer to me as. Did you use a Cricut Easy Press? I use, oh, she's talking to Yolanda. Call me to give you a month or two free. Okay. So I'm going to use Times New Roman. And I just typed in times and I'm also going to turn on my caps lock. And I am going to change this to bold, okay? 
So I'm going to delete this and I'm just going to type mommy. Okay. And when I do that, I'm also going to unlock this because, you know, I like the width of it, but I don't like the height. I want it to be a little bit longer like that. Okay. All right. So I have that. Now I'm going to bring the view down on my screen because if you've been with me for any length of time, hey, Nor, you know that I like to be able to see everything on my screen. So I'm going to just bring it down to 75%. And I'm also going to change this to white. Hi, Sherry. Welcome aboard. Okay. I'm going to change this to white because remember, I'm using white vinyl right here. Okay. So I'm going to change my color to white. All right. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go back and grab my text again. All right. And I am going to just move this text box down and I'm going to type my kids' names because remember, I'm making this shirt for myself. All right. And the text that I'm using for their names. Now, on my mom's shirt, I use the font called um, Joseph Sophia. I'm going to show you what this looks like in Joseph Sophia. And I'm also going to show you what it looks like in a font called I Love Glitter. Can somebody type that in for me? One of them, the first one I'll do is Joseph Sophia. Let me show you what that looks like. I'm turning my caps lock off. I don't want the caps lock on right now. Okay. I'm just typing um, Joseph. And Joseph Sophia is just, uh, it looks like this. Okay, and so I'm going to type in my kids' names, um, Miles, and I'm going to leave a space, Madison, and I'm going to leave a space, Morgan. Okay, so if I was going to go with the Joseph Sophia text, you know, I can unlock this and I can make this bigger. This is what it will look like. Now I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to just change it to the one that's called I Love Glitter. Let me move mommy over for one second, just so y'all can see. And I want to show you what their names will look like with that font called I Love Glitter. Glitter. All right. So that's what their names will look like. Hey, Kristen. All right. So this is what their names will look like if I use I Love Glitter. And I want to show you the difference in both because both of these two fonts have the heart um, options. OK, so let's go with the one that's called I Love Glitter first. Now, when I in order to get to the hearts that will go in between their names, I have to use the character map. I prefer to use the character map that's called character map uwp uh, word ones at least watching you can't hear a comment hey candace thank you okay so i'm going to go down to the bottom now i've already um downloaded the character map uwp so if you're interested in doing the same thing you'll have to download it's a free app that's available on your computer. I'm using a Windows computer. If you're using a Mac, I think it's called Font Book or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to go to the one that's, and when you get to your character map, you'll see all of the different fonts that are downloaded on your computer. And it'll show you all the glyphs and all of those extra special characters that you have on your computer. That's why I like this one. This is not the regular character map. This is a special one that I downloaded. Okay. So I'm going to go to I Love Glitter. And I can see it has these. Like, I like this so much. It's called a left square bracket. Let me go ahead and copy this now. Can, are y'all able to see my, you can't see the bottom of my screen, can you? Let me stop sharing for one second because I want you to be able to see how I access that. I'm going to share again, but this time I'm going to share the bottom, share my screen so you can see the entire screen so you can see the bottom of my screen. Okay. 
Do you want me to show you how I got to the character map? Hi, Dawn. You want me to show you how I got to the character map? Okay. Okay, Tamika. Okay, so I am going to just click on entire screen and I'm going to click share. And down here, I have this little, let me hide this. I have this little icon right here that's called um, Play Store. I think it's called Play Store, Microsoft Store. We we'll love you. Put the name of the character. I'm going to. I'm going to show it to you right here. If it'll pop up. But it hope you can see this menu at the bottom of my screen. Y'all see that? It's taking a long time. I don't know why. Maybe because I already have, I don't know. All right, so it says search apps, games, movies, and more. So I already have it downloaded, but I'm going to show you how I find it. Size of press settings, location. Okay, so I'm going to click. On, it's called character map. UWP. And it looks like this. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Nicole. Hi, Barb. Okay, it's going to pop up. Can y'all see that? Character map UWP. Can somebody type that in in the comments? Character map UWP. So it's not going to let me install it because I already have it installed, but it will let me open it. The reason why I prefer this character map is because you can see the characters much bigger than the regular character map that comes up, that comes already pre-installed on your computer. Okay, so I prefer to use this one. Thank you, Kristen. Character map UWP. So I'm going to open it. And when I do, I can see all of the fonts that are downloaded on my computer and the excellent thing about it is they're all in alphabetical order, right? So I can look at every single font choice I have and all of the glyphs that are included in those fonts, because otherwise you can't get to the extra character maps, the, the extra characters like this one eighths and three eighths and all this stuff. You won't be able to find that. I like this font right here, avocado script. Um, another one, a leaf buff. I downloaded, I purchased this font from, um, I purchased this font from the font, but see how pretty those letters are. Okay. So y'all you good. Amarillo is another one. That's nice. Y'all feeling good. Now this, I know I downloaded this from, um, the font this is just arrows you know if you're making something fancy you need some arrows on there baby love is another nice one soft and pretty okay downloading it now didn't know how to find it. yes well the the authors of those fonts they they like for you to donate to them bent brentley this one is just butterflies, butterfly heaven. I know I downloaded that from the font. You can do a lot with those. Okay, so now I'm going back to, um, now this is another nice font, just side note right here, Christmas and Santona. I know I downloaded that from the font. That's, that one is very pretty to me. I like these swooshes that they have on the lowercase letters. I think they're very, very pretty. Okay, now I'm going back to, um, I love glitter. Creative Fabrica does have to download fonts in order to have it on my character map. Yes. Yes. Yes, you do. Good question. So I'm going back to I love glitter. And let me find it. Okay, it's right here. 
And you can see that I Love Glitter has this, I like this left square bracket and this right square bracket. I'm going to show you how I use those on my shirt, how I'm going to use them on my shirt. But let me get the first one first. It's called a left square bracket. What I'm going to do is click copy. And then I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space. And then I'm going to click right before Miles's name. So you see I'm clicking on the M. And I'm going to do Control V on my keyboard. Control V will add that. Hold on. Yeah. See how it added that left square bracket to the front of his name? I think that is really, really nice. OK, and so let me move the word mommy for one second because I want that out of the way. Now, I'm also going to do the same thing to Morgan's name. But let me make sure that <clears throat> I'm going to you know, click on her name. I want to make sure that when I go back, I'm going to add the right square bracket to her name. So I'm going to go back to my character map, UWP. I'm going to click on this one. It's called a right square bracket. I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space. And I'm going to do click right on that end by her name, Control V. And it's going to add a little swoosh thing to her name. And I think that looks really pretty. Now, but I'm not finished, right? Because I also want to have hearts in between their name to connect the letters in their name. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my character map and I'm going to look for the heart, the connecting hearts. Now, I Love Glitter has um, open hearts like this, like it's called a low line, but they also have it where it's closed in like this. This is called a vertical line. I like the open line. Hi, Crafty Puerto Rican. How do I make that first name letter? How do I make the first name letter in uppercase in joseph sophia turn on your caps lock oh good natalie crafty puerto rican you are not late honey you cannot be late when you are giving someone your time ma'am. but thank you so look they have all these other swooshes and swirls within the i love glitter font right because if you wanted to do multiple hearts you could um but i you know my son i don't want to have multiple hearts <laughs> I just want to have I just want to have the open little heart right there. I heard Design Space was doing some weird stuff. So my advice when Design Space starts doing that, just you know, save and save often. Okay. Good, Eve. Okay, so now I'm going to click on this. I'm going to click copy. You know, I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to click right on the S right by Miles's name. I'm going to do control V. Okay, so that attached that heart to his name. Let me bring my view down a little bit because I want y'all to be able to see everything. Hopefully y'all are still feeling good. Okay, good. Mine is pinned to my task bar too. Okay, so now let me show you what I'm going to do because I want to add a heart in between Madison and Morgan's name too. What I'm going to do right here is just ungroup this. I got the free one, Crafty Creations. I only saw one character map UWP, and the one that I have is a free one. So I ungrouped this, so now all of my letters are separate, but I still want to attach. Let me move Morgan's name over. So I'm going to just click on Morgan's name. Can y'all see that I have it clicked on Morgan's name? And I'm going to use the right arrow key on my keyboard and i'm just going to scoot her name over i'm using the right arrow key on my keyboard to scoot her name over i'm using the right arrow key the reason why i'm not using my mouse is because if i use my mouse to scoot her name over it won't be aligned like it is already i'm just scooting it over just a little bit with the right arrow key on my keyboard Hopefully y'all understand what I'm doing, okay? So now I'm going to click on the N in Madison's name and I'm going to do control V to add that connecting heart. Now I need to move Morgan's name over more. Let me 
undo that and move her name over a little bit more because I want her name to be out of the way. Oh, Chris, and I really prefer to use the arrows because it keeps everything lined up. How long? How did y'all pin it to the taskbar? Okay, so I'm going back to that end and I'm going to do control V again. Not letting me again. Okay, so now I have. Um, hey, I wonder. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make sure I'm selected on Madison's name and her heart. And I'm going to use the left arrow key on my keyboard to scoot her name back over so that until it's touching the end of that first heart. Let me see if it's touching enough. That's That looks good to me. And I want to do the same thing with Morgan's name. I'll click on it and I'm going to scoot it back over with my arrow key. And I hope I'm not going too fast for anyone. I hope that y'all are getting this and nobody is feeling frustrated or confused. Okay. So now I have their names just the way I want it. And I like that. I like the way it looks. So now what I'm going to do is select all of that. They're all three names and I am going to attach them. How are y'all feeling? How are y'all feeling so far? Right now I just have their names attached with the I love glitter font. I'm glad you said that about not being late. <laughs> Renda, tell them. Okay, wonderful. Good. Okay, good, Kristen. All right. Good, Tamika, Miss JJ. Okay, so this is one way to do it. You kind of, but you'll be all right. Okay, Renda, you're good. Kathy, uh, Wanda, you're good. Okay, so this is one way to do it, but I also want to show you this way. The reason why I want to show you this way too is because Joseph Sophia is one of my favorite fonts. I use this one quite often. I actually use the Joseph Sophia font on my mom's shirts and I use them on bookmarks. I use it, I actually use it a lot. Whenever I'm doing something that has a, um, like, a uh, like a script font, I use it kind of often. And I like it because it also has hearts in the middle. The hearts are attached to the letters. Okay. So no copy. <laughs> what is the font on the second line? So this one is called um, Joseph Sophia. Hopefully you can see it right here. Joseph Sophia. Okay. So now let me go back to my character map and let me show you. You will rewatch. Okay. You love it too, Aunt Wanda? I'm going to weld it, but not yet, Linda, because, well, you know, when you weld it, you kind of stuck with it, but I'm not, I'm going to weld it, but just not yet. Okay, so let me show you how this one looks with the hearts, and then we'll see which one looks the best. Okay, so I'm going back to my, let me save it right here right quick, just in case. Hey, Sassy Mocha Crafts. Okay, so I'm going to say um, my, I'm going to say mom shirt in progress. I'm going to save it just in case Cricut Design Space starts to do crazy stuff. Okay. All right. So now I'm going back to my character map, UWP, and I'm going to find that one that's called Joseph Sophia. Joseph Sophia. Okay. Now let me show you. Now remember my son's last name, his, I mean, his, the last letter in my son's name is S because his name is Miles. And so what I'm gonna do with the Joseph Sophia font, you see how their lowercase letters have hearts. So I'm gonna click on this S 
and then I'm going to click copy and then I'm going back to Cricut Design Space and then I'm going to click on his name. I'm going to click on the S in his name. I'm going to backspace that one out and then do control V to put the S with the heart. Okay, y'all need to see that again or you got that? Let me know if you need to see that part again. Or if you feel like, oh, I got it. Thank you, Delonica. Oh, and I like your name. I don't see those fonts on my character map. You have to download that one, Natalie. Joseph Sophia was downloaded from defont.com. So you'll have to download it first. All of the fonts you see in my character map, I downloaded them from defont.com. Okay. Let me, so somebody said they want to see it again. Let me do it one more time. So I'm going to go to my undo button up here at the top left. And I'm going to undo it again. So it's back to the way it was. So if you see my kids' names, you see that they're all together, right? You see Miles, and then I left the space. Then you see Madison, then I left the space. And you see Morgan, and I left the space. <laughs> okay, Rinda. Will do, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Um, so I'm going to go back to, so once I download it, then where do you go to find it? Once you download what, the font or the character map? So I have their names. Y'all give me a thumbs up if y'all feel like I'm doing better with these comments. I feel like I'm doing so much better. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> okay, so I'm going, I'm going, you have to download fonts from other places then with, you know, P -dish. yes. Exactly. Once you have them downloaded on your computer, then they're there. Thank you, Kathy. Okay. Okay. So look, now I'm going back. Thank you, Kristen. Okay. The font, once you have it downloaded, how do you find it? Um, you have to, once you download it, you have to save it somewhere you're going to remember. Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Aunt Wanda. Tamika, yay! Thank you, y'all. Okay. Okay, so look, I'll download a font when we finish. Don't let me forget, okay? Don't let me forget. I will show you exactly how to download a font and then find it. I'll, but I'm going to get through this part first, okay? Because most people are here to get through the tutorial of this part, but I don't want you to leave here confused because that'll make me sad. All right. Thank you, Paula D. All right, Lisa B. D. All right, Miss Victoria. She gave me six thumbs up. Look at me counting. Okay, so now look, I'm going, I have their names and what I'm going to, thank you, Dana. Thank you, Sherry, Sherry, all y'all. Okay, I'm going back to my character map and I'm going to, remember, I want to put a heart on his S. So I'm going to click copy and then I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to click on the S where his, you know, in the, in his name, I'm going to click backspace because I'm trying to remove the S that's already there. So I'm going to click backspace and remember control V is just like paste, like, you know, copy and paste. So since I already clicked copy, in the character map, now I'm ready to paste it. So I'm going to do control V and that S with the heart will be there. And I'm going to do the same thing for Madison's name. I want to add a heart to, to her in. Yes, it's the font. Uh-huh. So now I'm going to go back to the character map and I'm going to look for the in, right? So there's the in. Okay, and I'm good, Miss Crafty Creations. And I'm going to click copy. And then I'm going to go back to Cricut Design Space. And then I'm going to click on Madison's in, right? And I'm going to do what? What am I going to do? Hey, Pamela. 
What am I going to do to the end on Madison's name? Somebody tell me. Type it in. What am I going to do? Y'all making me sing now. You're making me sing now. What am I going to do? I, I am going to backspace to delete it. That's right. Both of you are right. And I'm going to do control V to add a heart. Now, I can just stop here and get their names. Let me turn my heat press off because it's been on for too long for no reason. Okay. So now I can just attach these right? I can just say, I'm done with this. Now I'm ready to attach these, but I need to move them closer. So in order to move them closer, I will need to ungroup them because right now they're still grouped together. How do I know they're grouped together? Because I have the option to ungroup them. If they were already ungrouped, then I wouldn't be able to ungroup them. So I'm going to click ungroup when you click ungroup, ungroup does just that. So now all of these are individual letters, right? When at first they were, it was all one thing together. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to click on Morgan's name and I'm going to use the left arrow key on my keyboard and I'm going to move her name over closer to Madison's name. just so that they are touching. Hey, Tony. Control V as in Victor. V as in very good. V as in very, very, very good. V as in <laughs> Viva La Juicy. <laughs> okay. So now that looks a little bit weird, but it's okay. It's just okay. Right? So I can keep it like that. And then I'm going to click on Madison and Morgan's name together. Right? And I'm going to use the left arrow key on my keyboard to move all of that over. I'm just moving it over like that. Okay. And if I like it, <laughs> I can just select the whole thing and I can attach it. Now, in my personal opinion, which nobody asked for, but you're about to have it. <laughs> I like this one better. I like the I love glitter better. I like the way this font looks better. And if I actually wanted to use these hearts in between this font, I could, but I don't want to confuse you. Now, let me stop sharing for one second and look at you. See how y'all doing. Let me stop sharing for one second. And look at you. Let's see how y'all doing. How y'all doing? You like the smaller hearts? This is weird. This is all weird, but whatever. Let me move this down. You like the smaller hearts between? Okay, so we're going with the smaller hearts. Y'all feeling good about that, though? You feel like you understand the process. Yes. Do y'all know you're making my heart happy now? Now, if you ever, ever want to see me get emotional when you start learning, because that is that is the goal. When you know how to do something, you have the power. When you have knowledge, you have the power. You'll stop buying stuff from people. You will be the seller and not the buyer. The transition. That's true, Kristen. That is so true. That is so true. But I like the big curves in it. Um, and it, thank you, Deborah. 
the the thing about the um joseph sophia font it kind of depends on what the end letter looks like um you know how the hearts will work out thank you yolanda okay so y'all feeling good about that do you want me to download a font now or do you want me to keep going with the shirt knowledge is power i'm telling you knowledge is my grandmother used to always say nobody can ever take away your education people can take your money they can take your house they can take your car they can take pretty much all of your material stuff they can't take your knowledge nobody can take your education so she used to always tell me my education was the most important thing and i i i know that i believe it okay download a font okay let's do that so let me um share my screen let me hide this and uh, let's see let's see let's go to the font so go to the font. i'm just going to download any font somebody said continue with the shirt somebody said okay since we're already here let's just do the font okay you guys it's not going to take a long time Am I an actual teacher in actual school? I'm actually an assistant principal at an elementary school. Appreciate everything you taught me. Like, seems very cool. I think you need to Thank you, Fabulosis. Okay, so when you're on defont.com and it's actually like the font, like the font. <laughs> the font. That's how I think about it, like the font. <laughs> Okay, so go to thefont.com. And when you go to thefont.com, <laughs> thank you. Your mother said the same thing. Um, yeah, my grandmother, she just she education was everything. She was a um elementary school teacher. She taught for 35 years at the same school, and I had so much respect for her, so much. And I just, she was everything to me, but we're not going to get into that because that will make me emotional. Okay. So when you get to defont.com, like there are some fonts that'll just come up. When when you look down here, you can see like, what are the new fonts? Um, I kind of like to look at what they have that's new. Like this one right here is called Wonder Smile. I personally don't have that font and I like it, but it'll tell you it's a script font. It's free for personal use, or you can donate to the author. So when you download these fonts, you know, you should be doing this for when you're making something for yourself or making something to give as a gift. However, okay, Michelle, and, and I, you know, I already did a tutorial on this. I'm just doing it live so people can ask questions. I, I actually did. Remember, I did a tutorial on this exact thing the other day. I think I did this. I just did this the other day. But let me just show you. So let, let's say I want to download Wonder Smile. I don't have Wonder Smile already on my computer. So I'm going to click download. And hopefully you see down here where I'm hovering. Can y'all see where I'm hovering down here in the bottom left? You see in the bottom left of my screen where I'm like hovering over with the mouse. See that hovering with the mouse? When you click download, that doesn't mean it's downloaded. It's really still nothing. You don't have it yet, right? It's it's not on your computer until you actually keeps going, but save your word. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to click on that and there's a folder that's going to open up because right now it's still zipped. Okay. So it's thinking about it on my computer. And it says, read before any use, wonder, smile, personal use, blah, 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 right? So now I see this option right here to extract all. I always click extract all, even though I'm not going to really extract all, but I click extract all. Okay, so I'm going to click that. And then I, Delanda, I normally click browse because I don't just click extract. If you click extract, and you try to get back to this folder, you're going to be thinking like, where did I save it? Where is it saved? I don't know. So I typically click browse. 
and I have a whole tutorial on just this, just how to do this. And I go to my desktop. Now I'm using uh, Peter's laptop because this is not my stuff right here, but I'll use this one. I'll say Cricut files and I'll select this folder and I'll just extract it there. Actually, let me browse again because I'm going to make a folder that that's called, what was that font called? Wonder Smile. So I'm going to create a new folder. What was it called? Wonder Smile. And I'm going to call it Wonder Smile. Just like it's called. And I'm going to click select folder. <laughs> Thank you, just said. And then I'm going to extract it. So now when it extracts it, I'll remember it's on my desktop and it has a name. The folder has a name called Wondersmile. It's still not on my computer yet, right? I've extracted it, but now I still have to install it. So let me look. Okay, this one is Wondersmile, bold, bold italic. I just want the regular one. So now I'm going to click install. And now it's installing on my computer. Before, it wasn't on my computer. So I installed the regular one. And I'm also going to install the bold one. So I want to click install. Now, I really don't want the one that's italics. I love when you sync to <laughs> backspace and control V. Yes. Y'all are following along. I know y'all can get it. Now, I'm going to close this out because I'm finished with this. So I'm, I'm finished with that. Now I'm going back to Cricut Design Space and I'm going to show you something. I'm in Cricut Design Space and let me just save this again. I'm just click save. Mom shirt in progress. And let it save. I want to show you that even though I have already downloaded, extracted, and installed it, I still am not going to be able to see it yet, but I want you to see that because I don't want you to get started with this. And then you say, well, Delanda, I did all of those things and I still don't see it. Let me show you something. So I'm going to go to text. And remember that font was called Wonder Smile. So I'm going to just type in um, Delanda. And I'm going to look for that font called Wonder Smile. Wonder. Nothing came up. Because if you are, let me and pay attention right here. Let me stop sharing because I'm I want y'all to see my face really, really good. The acne and everything else. I want y'all to see it really, really good. Really, really good. Y'all looking. Is this thing on? <laughs> Listen, when you have Cricut Design Space open and you extract, well, you download, extract, and install a file, font, it will not show up until you reload Cricut Design Space. So you saw that it's not there. It is not there. You saw me try to find it. You see it didn't come up. I'm going to have to reload. Y'all see on T? It's good T. These are good T. Um, I'm going to have to reload Cricut Design Space so you can see it. And I'm going to do that. So I just wanted to, I don't want, look, y'all will be in the comments. I'm like, Delani, you said if I did this, it was going to be there. And I'm going to say, that is not what I said. That is not what I said. <laughs> Listen, Linda. Yes, Lakeisha over there teaching. You better be teaching Lakeisha. Okay, so now it's not there, right? So I have to go up here to view and reload. So I'm going to click reload and let Cricut Design Space reload. And let it think about life. But make sure you save first. Make sure you save first. So all your stuff, all your hard work is not gone. It's still there. It's going to all come back up because I saved it. And it's thinking, come on, Cricut Design Space. Be great. Be great. Y'all see that green line up there at the top just really thinking hard. Oh, Lord. 
Oh, Lord. I believe it's going to open. But if it doesn't, I'll open it because I saved it. I really wish Cricket would change that, closing out and reloading. I do too, Marquita. I agree. I agree. Okay, it's coming back. So let me bring my view down again to um, 50%. And so I'm just going to type my name. I'm going to type um, Delonda. I'm going to make it big. And now I'm going to look for that font. It's called Wonder. And there it is, Wonder Smile. And there's my name. Now that's kind of cute. Now, look at Wonder Smile being cute. Look at Wonder Smile being super cute. I like that. I like that little, little fancy on my name. I like that. But now you see how to download a font. You have to download it, extract it, and install it. Okay? Now, we, we, we're done with this, okay? Because that was a bonus. That is nice. Y'all better be going to download Wonder Smile. It's new. It's new. How long? How long has that been out? Let's see. Oh, it's new today. This just came out today. I like that. I like that a lot. So all of these new fonts came out today. But okay. All right. Okay, we're going back to Cricut Design Space. So we're getting ready to finish this thing out. We're getting ready to, what we call it, land this plane. Okay, so I'm going to close this out. I have a new font. Y'all can find you a new font. I'm not going to use this one because I'm just not feeling it. But let me tell you what I am going to do. So here's my mommy, right? Because, you know, my kids call me mommy. I'm going to use this, but I do think that, um, you know, it's kind of like too big. It's like way, way too big. And I don't want it that big. I think that looks, let me make it a little bit longer. I think that looks good right there. Now their names their names are going to be, um, let me go ahead and um, weld this now. And their names are going to be in red. Okay, now do you see how that D um, filled in? Let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to unweld. I'm going to undo that. If that happens to you, and then I'm going to click on this again, and I am going to detach it. And I am going to, let me see. I'm going to click on that D because the D is the only letter that filled in. I am going to arrange it and send it to the back. And then I'm going to try it again. Let me see what happens if I weld it. Okay. So you see that? Yeah, it's time to land that plane. <laughs> So at first, my D was filled in when I welded it at first. So in order, if that happens to you with a script font or any font, if it if you have one letter that fills in, just um, detach it and then move that letter to the back and then you should be fine. So now mine is fine and I'm going to change this to red because remember, I'm using the red holographic. But I also let me tell you what I'm going to do because this is a little bit too thin for my liking. So what I'm going to do is duplicate this like two times. And I am going to move this one a little bit to the left, just to make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to put this on top and move this a little bit to the right. Just a tiny bit, just to make it a little bit thicker. And then I'm going to take that whole thing and I'm going to attach it. Okay. So I think this looks better because I just wanted it thicker and that I love glitter font is not thick. 
And the only way to kind of thicken it up is just, you know, duplicate it two or three times. And oh, hold on, y'all. My phone is about to die. That's not going to be good. Hold on one second. Let me call my girl. Hold on. Y'all don't need to hear that part. Y'all don't need to hear that part. Marquita, I call my girls girl. So <laughs> I always just say girl. And then whoever comes, that's what I'm talking to. True facts. She's helping me fix the, um, let me just turn that camera off. Cause I'm going back to Cricut Design Space anyway. Y'all don't, it's nothing to really see. Okay, I'm going back to quick design space while she's adjusting the camera. Hopefully that, that, that doesn't throw you off. So now I'm going to take this and put this on top of the word mommy. And I'm going to select the whole thing like this. And I'm going to align it and center it. Okay. And that... That looks decent to me. <laughs> well, see, I say girl because I have two girls and it's just like whoever comes. I just, that's who I'm talking to. Whoever can help is who I'm talking to. So I'll center it like that. And I like that. So now I'm going to click out of here for one second. I'm going to click on just their names. And I am going to go to my offset. And I am going to offset this, but I'm going to bring the offset down. It won't stay. Um, can you put that behind it? Like maybe right here. Or use that other... Um, the other tripod? Huh? Oh, get it. It's going to be off for a second, y'all. Hi. <laughs> She's going to get a different tripod because that one is not cooperating. Okay, so I'm bringing the offset down. We'll bring it down to like. 0.111 and it's thinking about it she's going to change out that tripod so this might be wiggly for a second because that phone is about to die Make sure it's not on this.
Okay, it's still thinking about the offset. Good thing Cardi B is not watching me. Like, why you keep on calling my man? <laughs> oh Lord. It's thinking about it. Keep that phone on charging. I know. I, I had it on 100%. I didn't know we would be on it this long. But I have my um other phone ready to go just in case. Okay, so that offset on 111 is still a little bit thick. So I'm still bring it down a little bit. I don't know if y'all can tell how thick that is. I don't really like it. I think it's still a little bit too thick. I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit. Let me bring it down to, let me see what 75 looks like. I don't want it to be too thick. I wish I'll say I do too, Kristen. And I wish it would stop taking a long time too. But I think 75.075 is going to be a decent size. If it's if it is, I'm gonna just stop there. It's like taking forever. I like that. So I'm going with 0.75. I'm gonna click apply. Now, with the offset, I'm not really keeping it on there. You know that, right? Hey, uh, Shanita Nicole. So what I'm going to do now is click on the, the layer that is the offset, the black layer. I'm gonna hold my shift key down and I'm going to click on the word mommy. So I'm gonna remember, because I'm getting ready to slice this and slice only works when you have two layers selected at a time. So I'm going to click on the black offset behind their names and I'm going to click on the word mommy, but I'm going to have to hold my shift key down. So I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to click on that. And now I can slice this. And I'm going to wait for it to think about it and get its life. I know. I agree. So I'm going to wait for everything to come back. So now I'm just going to remove everything that I don't need. So I don't need this. I don't need this anymore. I don't even know what this is. I don't need this. This is their name. So I'm going to make sure this fits right in here. And I don't need this. I can delete that. So now I can go back up here and make sure that it's centered the way that it should be. And I think that looks excellent. So just the last thing that I'm going to do just to double check is go back and I'm going to grab a t-shirt template and make sure it's going to stay together. Okay. So I'm going to grab my t-shirt template and make sure it's not too big because the shirt that I'm using is a women. It's not a women's. It's a unisex medium gildan shirt so i'm gonna grab a t-shirt right classic t-shirt and i am going to let it come up i'm looking at a i'm gonna just call it a men's short sleeve let's call it a medium and let me just select this whole thing and just group it so it stays together and I can see right now that that is too big. Yeah, I meant to delete the offset. I don't want the offset. I just want the offset. That's the knockout part. So I'm going to bring this in because I think that's like way too big, right? I think 11.5 is a fair size for my, for my word, for my, the word mommy. So let me just make it 11.5. Well, let me back that all out. And I like that. I think I want to make, let me make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, I like that. 
Let me see what size I used on this one for my. Okay, I'm going to bring this up to four. So I'm going to unlock this. And the height is going to be four. Oh, that's kind of too long. I think 3.5 is fair. 3.5. I like that. Yeah, because now it's on 1%, Rinda. That's kind of making me nervous. I better turn my other phone on just in case. What does Jaheem say? Just in case. I don't. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let me get on my other phone just in case. Into studio. Because these things be doing too much. Okay, so this is ready. Now, what I'm going to do is click make it because this is, I think this is a fair size. So I went 11.5 across and um, 11.5 wide and 3.5 in height, okay? And I am ready to um, click make it. I think I better, I think I better weld this. Let me ungroup this. And I think I better weld this since it's a script font and hopefully none of my letters fill in. Please don't fill in. Please don't fill in. Please don't fill in. I do need to save it. You're right, Kristen. But right now it's thinking. Please don't fill in. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now let me save this. I think this is going to be cute. And now I'm ready to click make it. I hope this phone doesn't die. If the phone does die, I still have my other phone and I have this computer on. Okay, so now I'm using heat transfer vinyl. This stuff right here, you guys, it is quite thick. So when I cut this, I cut this on the glitter vinyl setting with more pressure. Okay, that's what I do. All right, so I'm going to take this and I just, I, this is what I do. You don't have to do this. I just move it down a little bit just in case it gets caught on the mat or something happens. I don't want to have no issues and no drama. Okay, so I'm going to mirror this. And I am going to, I think, y'all, I'm going to, no, I won't do it. I was going to move this up, but I won't do it. I'm going to mirror this though. And I'm going to bring it down to like right there. Okay. So now I'm going to get my vinyl loaded on my mat. I'm going to cut the white vinyl first and click continue. I'm using Caesar HTV. And I'm going to be connected to my Cricut Explorer Air 2. What are, okay. With HTV, you put the shiny side down on the mat. So I'm putting the shiny side down. Shiny side down. How do you know it's the shiny side? It's the side that's shiny. <laughs> Y'all don't listen to me. I'm crazy. Don't listen to me. I'm crazy. All right. Put my little tape back on there. This is how I save mine. It's going to go up there, cutting the white first. All right. And let me turn on this camera so y'all can see what's going on. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Can you, you can see it. All right, and I'm going back to Cricut Design Space, and I want to, for this first part, I'm just choose Everyday Iron On, and I'm going to click the flashing C. Hey, Shanice, hope I said it right. 
Hope I said your name right, Shanice. Now my computer, my um, cricket has been making some weird noises, y'all. So I don't know what that's all about. But I don't know what that's all about. Where's my charger? I just put it, I just plugged it in again. I plugged it into the actual outlet because I don't think this computer was getting it good enough. Hi, Kathy. Did I say hi to you already? I hope I did. Y'all, I'm sorry this is taking so long. Very sorry about that. So I'm feeling it to see if it cut all the way through. It, it looks like it did. But it don't feel like it did. So if, if that happens to you, like when you cut yours out, if it feels like it didn't cut all the way through, just press the flashing C and send it back through. I'm going to send that back through one more time. Not feeling it. Not feeling it on there. stuff is so thick. You use me. Good night, Doreen. Good night, Doreen. Oh, not good night, Doreen. Good night, Yolanda. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you have to watch it five times, then it wasn't clear. I'm sorry. Y'all, please, yes, please like the video. I hope that um, showing you how to download a font did not throw you off because... <laughs> All right, I'm going to close that out. So now I'm changing my cut setting for this for this um, holographic vinyl because it is um, thicker than regular HTV. So I wanna change it to glitter, changing my cut setting to glitter iron on and I do it with more pressure. Thank you, Jackie. I appreciate that. Okay. 
While that's cutting, I'll be weeding this with one of my four pin pin weeding tools that I didn't need that I wanted. Oh, that's a lot of vinyl. I'm just taking out the pieces that I don't need. So that's that first part. Sixty-five do belongs. That's gonna fix what I could just stay in my lane. You do belongs. Um. Thank you, Yolanda. Diane, I don't know. I mean, have you? Oh no, I don't want to sell anything to anybody. No, <laughs> I don't want to. No, 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 no. That. If I was a car salesman, our family would be starving. I'd be like, you, you think you might want to buy it? <laughs> I can't do it. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Um, Diane, I don't know if you. I would say go slow. I do prefer to weed on the mat, Kristen. You, you don't. I do prefer to weed on the mat. Um, Diane, I, I would say go slow and try something slow. The offset number I used was 75. It was 0 0.075. Because I wanted it closer together, but I think on this shirt, I think I did 0 0.111. On the one that I made for my mom. On this shirt, it was 0.111, but I also used a bigger font. I used that. Um, this one has the Joseph Sophia. Because I think it matters what the, the, lad, the end letter is. Thank you, Diane. I appreciate that. So, I, I yeah, I did a bigger offset on this one i think i made this one smaller because the letters are so thin and i didn't want it to be like too weird my quick explore air two might be at the end i we you weed under the heat press really it feels weird on the mat for you how do you do it Weed under the heat press. I have not tried that. I haven't tried that. It's clear sometimes it's good to save and go back and watch because you can fast forward if you miss something. You have me all over the place. <laughs> oh, Shanice. <laughs> like, this girl done got me all over the place. <laughs> Cause you know what, Shanice? I've seen that happen. Oh, weeding on the under the heat press. That's I have not tried that. This was the last shirt I made. Did y'all see this one? Now I was proud of this one. Did y'all see this one?
You like the weeding light pad? I used to take it off the mat and attach it to a craft table. Oh, really? Thank you, Carla. Go back and find the tutorial for this one. This was the last shirt I made, and I was really proud of this one. <laughs> I was really, really proud of this one. And I think you can follow this. I think you can follow this. I did a I actually did a premiere on this on this shirt. So this is another shirt that I made for my mom. Yeah, I like to weed on the mat. Waiting on your holographic vinyl so you can press it. Oh, okay. But you know, good night, Louise. Um, Sharon, you can use glitter vinyl because somebody else, um, Risa did this shirt, but she used glitter vinyl and it looked really nice. Super nice. I was like, dang, I should have just used glitter vinyl. That glitter vinyl is popping. So I can feel this. I know this cut out really good. So I'm finished with that. Y'all, I'm sorry. This is taking forever. I'm feeling bad about that now. All right. So now I'm going to get this weeded. Let me see if y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. Let me stop sharing. Y'all see that? Super sorry. That is taking forever. So it weeds nicely when you do that glitter, glitter um, iron on with more pressure. So I'm going to get these out. Get these inner letters out. I'm sorry it's taking so long, y'all. Where did I buy the SVG? What SVG? What SVG? I didn't. I made it. In that tutorial, I showed you how to make it. I didn't buy it. That's what I'm telling you. Knowledge is power. Once you know, have once you have the knowledge, you'll stop buying stuff. You'll start making it on your own. Didn't buy that. Didn't buy it. And I haven't seen one like it either. All right. Oh, you were saying good night to them. Oh, okay. So this weld is a little bit off. But let me see how it looks. So it looks like the letters are like. I think I'm gonna still like it though. It looks like all the letters are like double, but I still like it, and I'm still press it just like this. I still like it. So you, let me show y'all. See the letters look like they're doubled because the weld, when I welded it, you remember I did like, see that? I still like it though. I'm gonna do it just like that too. Let me get my scissors. All right. All right. Let me um turn this off and go to this. All right. I'm gonna put this over here so y'all can see. See the heat press? Person the quick and maker three. Knowledge is power. I agree. Okay, so I'm going to get my shirt, regular black shirt, taking the tag off, fold it in half. My heat press is set to 305 for the first layer. Would have looked at it different if you attached the letters instead of welding. It would have if I would have put the letters closer together, Carla. 
if I would have, like when I made my tile, let me show you. Because I did my my Mother's Day tile like with that last year. But I put mom. So this is my Mother's Day tile that I made for myself last year. And I used the same font. I just put mom instead of mommy. And you see my kids' names. And I used the I Love Glitter, but I had the filled in hearts. And when I welded the, the three layers together, I had the letters closer together. So that's the difference. So you live and you learn and then you get loves. That's a commercial for diapers. Okay. They need to hire me for that. Okay. Folding my shirt in half so I can get a crease down the middle. I have my heat press set to 305. Just get a little quick crease. Okay, the laundry you have to select the speed cut. That way your videos will cut faster. Yes, I do. Okay, so I got a crease down the middle. So now I want to press the white layer first. And I'm pressing it on 305 for 15 seconds. And then I'm going to turn the heat up to 320 degrees. Remember, if you're doing this with an easy press, you're going to add 30 degrees. Because that's what the Caesar heat settings say. You can fold this in half to get it, you know, make sure it's straight, blah, 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 blah. And then you just put this right on the crease. Yes. But when it's a script font, it's best to have them welded. y'all can see good enough so i'm gonna get a teflon not a teflon use parchment paper i prefer parchment paper for my shirts fifteen seconds you're doing great. So I apologize for the video for the season to answer questions for the CJ. Thank you, Brenda. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Caesar is a hot or cold peel, which is another reason why I love it because you don't have to wait for it to cool down, except the holographic. I am going to have to wait for that to cool down. So I'm going to fit this in between the offset where it goes, right? So I'm just being careful to fit it in. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, this is so cute. If I do say so myself. Oh, my gosh. I might have the way this to work and be out of uniform, out of compliance. Ma'am, you are out of compliance. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't change my heat settings. Y'all weren't even going to tell me. Where are you going to tell me what I do with my thing? What do I do with my thing? What did I do with my thing? My Caesar. Right here. What did I do? I think it's 320. So Caesar holographic. Caesar holographic. It says cut in reverse, apply 320 degrees. So I'm going to change it to 320 degrees. And I'm going to do it for 20 seconds. So I'm going to let that get to 20 to 320 degrees. What font did I use on my shirt? This shirt? Good night, Wendy. Sorry it took forever. Sorry. This shirt is an SVG that I purchased from Design Bundles. 
I wish I knew. I wish I knew. What's the difference between a butcher paper and Teflon sheet? Teflon sheet is just... Well, first of all, I would not use butcher. I would only use my butcher paper for my sublimation prints. That's to protect the ink from getting on your machine. The Teflon is not going to do that. The Teflon is just... Um, to me, the Teflon protects the fabric, but not the machine from burning. And I used to use, I used to really just use Teflon for my fabrics, for my shirts and stuff. But now I just prefer to use um, parchment paper. Note sheet from, this came from the Caesar website. And if you're in the Facebook group, Felina, it's in the, in the files tab. Okay, it's on 320 degrees. I'm gonna press it for 20 seconds. Do I have Teflon heat pillows? I don't. But don't make me shop either, Aunt Wanda, because I just spent $100 at uh, 143. How much did I spend? All right, so now this is a cold peel. Holographic is a cold peel. So I got to move this from my heat press and let it cool down. So you can kind of, like if I wasn't on camera like I am right now, I'd be waving this. <laughs> That's what I would be doing like this where I just let it sit there for a little while and I'll be cleaning up like, okay, let me put my... Let me put my covers back on my mats and put my scissors away and save my parchment paper. My Facebook group is called Cricut Crafting with Delanda. And it is, um, the link for it is below this video. Um, it's a nice group, nice, nice, helpful, encouraging group. We don't do any sales in that group. So if you... Uh, into sales that probably would not be the group for you no sales no dumps so i'm cleaning up will you share what i bought one for three i did kristen i bought let me see i bought i bought First of all, I bought some clear medium tech transfer tape because I didn't have any and I keep hearing how great it is. So I bought some of that to try it. I bought some more sheets of holographic um, vinyl. I bought the more red because I have to make some more of these shirts. I bought this. This color is purple. I bought three sheets of that. Isn't that nice? I love this. I think it's so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to use it on, but I, I think it's pretty. And I bought, this one is called Rainbow Pearl. Bought three of that, three of those. What else did I buy? So I bought three of the red and I bought, oh, the Starcraft Puff Vinyl. So I just bought one sheet of the puff vinyl. I have black, but I bought some of the white. I bought this gloss UV laminate uh, printable vinyl. So I bought the um, UV laminate inkjet printable. I, I've heard good stuff about this, so I'm saying I want to try it. I think it's so cute. Oh my gosh. And then I bought, remember the other night when I was um, unboxing and I bought some of those guard, I bought one garden flag. I went and bought three more because I was so impressed with the quality of it. You need to do a project with a puff vinyl. I do. I have one in mind for my girls. I think I'm going to do one for them. But um, I bought three more of those garden flags because I was very, very impressed with the quality of these because they're double-sided and they're polyester. So I bought three. And then I bought um, some of those Caesar 
sublimation markers was I want to try these out and see if they're better or different than the, the Cricut infusible ink markers. So I just, I bought some of these to try them out. This is graduation garden flags. Yes, I'm going to do one. I have to try it first because I don't know. I, I definitely want to try it. I think my son graduated. You may have said, Mr. But was the font in your shirt? Yeah, I don't know. This I purchased this font, this um, SVG from Design Bundles. They did. They use the UV lamp in it today. I have to check it out. I have to check it out. Crystal Ann. I know who is Crystal Ann. Does she have a YouTube channel? I know who Mr. Crafty Pants is. But I don't know Crystal Ann. So that's what, oh, and then because I spent so much money. <laughs> thank you, Crafty Puerto Rican. Because I spent so much money, I got another pen pen, which I did not need. And I was saying that I have um too many of these because i wanted a purple one so i got the the lavender one i already had this green one this is the first one i ever had and i have a red one and i have a i don't even know what i did with it. i have a red one and i have a blue one. the silver well i no, i of course i have the red one yeah i saw that oh crystal from design bundles oh okay i saw that other lady went to create a fabrica I used to like them. That's how much I don't know what to do with it. One of these? I got my order today too, Linda. Right before I came on. I was like, oh, look at look at that. Because I needed the holographic. Okay, I think my shirt is cooled down now. I think the um I think it's cooled down. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that nice? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Let me go ahead and peel it off so I can show y'all what it looks like. Looks like, looks like. So excited. So super excited. I'm turning my other camera so y'all can see. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm put this right here. And I just can't hide it. Start camera. I thought I did I do it? Okay. All right. So I'm gonna peel that off so y'all can see. And that is that. Y'all see it? Y'all know I'm never good at this part. <laughs> Y'all know I'm never good at this part. So let me stop sharing it for right here and show you on the other camera because that ain't it. That ain't it. Da -da -da -da. I love it. That's it. Yay. So this one will be for me. And I feel like I could have made mommy bigger maybe. I don't know, but I like it. And I'll wear it like this. Yay. All right. So let's get to these, back to these goals. Did we accomplish the goal to learn how to use the knockout method to make a Mother's Day shirt? That was our goal. Did we accomplish our goal? <laughs> yes. All right. Thank you, Kathy. Red glitter earrings. I need to want Wanda. All right. Fabulosis. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So hopefully you learned something because that is always the goal is to teach you something that you did not already know thank you sharon yay good we accomplished the goal we got through it and um i'm glad you learned something i'm glad you joined me i don't take this time with you lightly kathy i know you can do it thank you deborah i know you can do it thank you Kristen. yes 
Thank you to, to 2011 Miss Max. I love that. Um, if you learn something, then we your time wasn't wasted. Okay, so I didn't think it would take this long, but um, hopefully you feel like your time was valued because I do value you. I appreciate you spending time with me because you could spend your time anywhere and you chose to spend your time with me and I appreciate that very much. The font downloads, good. All right, thank you. Thank you guys so much. I am going to get on off of here and go check on Peter. I did, you know, get him back to what he did the other day for what he said. If y'all missed that, because he was wrong. <laughs> you made a plate instead of your post. Okay, Linda, I'm looking forward to seeing it. Thank you. Thank you, Yesenia. Not wasted. Thank you. I appreciate y'all very, very much. I am going to get some rest because I have a lot of meetings tomorrow at work. And um, I will see y'all next time. Okay, y'all, and be looking for um, prom pictures maybe Saturday after I'm calmed down. Bye, y'all. Thank y'all so much for joining me. I appreciate you. I'm going to say good night. I appreciate you. I thank you. Thank you, Carol. Me too, Trini girl. <laughs> me too. Bye, y'all.